Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the numericals on internal gear train. So the first numerical is here. Now in this case, in an epicyclic gear train, there are two internal wheels that is A and B. They are also called as an annular wheel. And the compound wheel CD means this uh, gear C and D. They are mounted on the same shaft, and uh, they are independently moving about the axis O. Now the wheels E and F they rotate on the pins fixed on this arm G. E gears with A as we have shown here, and uh, this particular F gears with this D. So now here we, all the wheels they are having same module that is standard module that is one M. The number of teeth on C is twenty eight. The number of teeth on D is twenty six. And the number of teeth on E and F they are same that is eighteen. Now here, now here you have to sketch the arrangement directly as the arrangement is given. Now you have to find the number of teeth on this annular wheel A and B. Then if the arm G makes hundred RPM clockwise and your A is outer wheel annular wheel is fixed, you have to find the speed of B. And then if the arm is moving having hundred RPM clockwise. Then the wheel A makes 10 RPM counterclockwise. You have to find the speed of this wheel B. So these are the you have to uh, go find these findings. So what first is what when A is fixed, you have to find the speed of B. And if A is moving 10 RPM uh, anticlockwise and arm is also in 100 RPM clockwise, you have to find the speed of B. So now here, if you know TC is given, TD is given, T DF is also given. You have to find the number of teeth on A and B. So now here, if you see this A, it is gearing with E, and this E is gearing with this C. So this particular number of teeth is directly proportional to the PCD. So DA will be equal to this DC PCD of C will C plus two times of DE. Means why? Because this E will will be in contact in this outer wheel part also. Okay. So it will be DC plus two times of DE, and DB will be equal to what? This DD plus two times of DF. Dd plus two times of Df, so this will be directly in proportional to the number of teeth. So in this way, we will get the number of teeth on A and B. Now here, this particular outer wheel is fixed. Outer wheel is fixed. So now here, we are going to do the step motion, tabular method motion. So if you see, here is the table in which your arm is fixed and wheel A is given plus one rotation. Then after wheel A is giving plus one rotation, you are now <coughs> this wheel E. Is in contact with the A, so in order to find the speed E, so it will be what? If you see here E, if it is uh, having plus one rotation, this E will be also having plus one rotation. So any by any will be equal to T A by T V. If it is having clockwise rotation, then you are this wheel C will be having anti-clockwise sense of rotation, and if wheel C is having anti-clockwise sense of rotation, then wheel D will be also having anti-clockwise sense of rotation. So it will be minus T C by minus T E by T C. This will be the relation, and for F, simultaneously clockwise motion. Then afterwards, you have to uh, move the U A plus X rotation element to all elements. Then third step, you have to add Y revolution to all elements. Means where the arm was fixed, it will be having all Y revolutions. And last step will be the total motion. That is addition of step number two and step number three. Okay, and then afterwards, you have to just calculate the values. How we are getting these values, right? Then afterwards, by getting this total motion, then you have to find the speed of the wheel A. So here, the speed of the wheel B. So this is the speed of the wheel B. Means first of all, you have to find the unknowns that is x and y. So here, the RPM of uh, this uh, what is it? Arm is given that is 100 RPM clockwise. Then by the total motion of A, we will be getting this Y value because it is it was fixed. Then after getting X and Y value, we will get directly the value of B. And then for the condition that when A is having 10 RPM, so this will be the condition X and Y value will again change, and we will get the speed of wheel B. So in this way, we will be getting these values. Then next problem is for the planetary system gear system. So in this case. Means directly, I am not reading the statement, but in here, the D is the outer means annular wheel, B is the sun gear, A is the arm, and C is the planet gears. So now here in this problem, when the ring D is stationary, the spider A, that is the arm, which carries three planet wheel C of equal size, means having same PCD, it is is to make one revolution in the same sense for the sun wheel B 
for every five rotation of the driving spindle. So this is the ratio, speed ratio for this sun gear system. Module is given, diameter of the handler wheel is given. You have to find the number of teeth. And by this method means if sun gear for this uh, planetary gear system plus one rotation to the gear is given to the sun gear and from that you will getting the corresponding teeth ratio. If you are giving plus one rotation to B, then C will move in anti-clockwise, so it will be minus T B by T C. And if C is moving anti-clockwise sense of rotation, then it will be also D will also move in anti-clockwise sense, so it will be minus T B by T D. And the rest of thing is same is by giving some uh, x amount of RPM to all elements, then adding x, then giving y revolution to all elements where the arm was fixed, it will be having all y revolutions same value. And last step is the total motion here. By adding step number two and step number three, we'll get the motions. And by knowing the terms, by knowing the number of teeth, by getting the unknowns, that is X and Y, we will get the corresponding speeds of that wheel. So this, this in this way, you have done the calculations. And here we will getting the number of teeth as well as we are getting the speed. So these are in this way, we are solving the internal gear problem for the planetary gear system as well as for the internal gear system. Thank you.